Hello, my dear friends. Uh, good morning. Welcome to my channel. This morning, I would like to share to you a very significant uh, topic that is the Philippine Qualification uh, Framework. But uh, guys, before you continue watching this video, kindly subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that uh, you will be updated with my upcoming videos. You can uh, like and uh, share to your friends uh, if you like uh, the video. Okay, let us start now. This is the model or the framework of the Philippine qualifications. Why I am interested in sharing this? Because I would like you, my dear students, to get acquainted with the, the levels of uh, educational qualifications you have based on the Philippine Qualification Framework. One thing that is very much important is all about the descriptions or, or descriptors of uh, the different levels of uh, the Philippine uh, educational, Philippine Qualification Framework based on the three domains. What are these domains? We have the knowledge, skills, and values, application, and the degree of uh, independence. All right. Before I will share to you the descriptors of uh, the different uh, levels of uh, Philippine qualification framework, I will first... Uh, tell you about uh, this model. As what I've said, the Philippine Educational Qualification in the Philippines is now or has uh, eight uh, levels. The foundation is grade 12 and uh, this is offered in basic education. We have level 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. This is offered in Technical Education and uh, Skills uh, Development uh, Authority. So, NC1 is Level 1. NC2 is Level 2. NC3 is Level 3. NC4 is Level 4. And uh, we have uh, the Diploma. And uh, the Higher Education, through the Commission on Higher Education, Level or uh, the baccalaureate degree programs is in level six. The post baccalaureate uh, degree, these are the master's degree programs, that is level seven. Post or post doctoral and uh, doctoral degree programs, this is the highest level, that is level eight. And uh, as what I've said, there are several uh, descriptors of uh, these different uh, levels. All right. For grade 12 as the foundation, the descriptors of knowledge, skills, and values are it possesses functional knowledge across a range of uh, learning areas and technical skills in chosen career track or tracks with advanced competencies in communication, scientific, critical, and uh, creative uh, thinking, and the use of technologies. Aside from this, the graduates have uh, an understanding of uh, right and wrong, one's history and cultural heritage, and the respect for self, others, and their culture and environment. Relative to the application, the graduates shall be able to apply functional knowledge, technical skills, and values 
in academic and real life situations through sound reasoning, informed decision making, and uh, judicious use of resources in terms of uh, degree of independence in the application of uh, knowledge, skills, and values, the graduates shall be able to apply skills in varied situations with uh, minimal uh, supervision. Now, if a graduate is a holder of uh, NC1, that is level 1, knowledge and skills that are manual or concrete or practical and or operational in purpose. This is the position of uh, the graduates in terms of this domain. In terms of application, the graduates shall apply in activities that are set in a limited range of highly familiar and the predictable context involved straightforward uh, routine issues which are addressed by the following set uh, rules, guidelines, or procedure on matters relative to the degree of independence in the application of knowledge, skills, and values. The holder of NC1 shall be able to apply or in condition where there is very close support, guidance or supervision, minimum judgment or discretion is uh, needed. For NC2, this is Level 2, the position of uh, knowledge or the state of knowledge of uh, a person who is a holder of uh, in situ cert national certificate 2 or in situ, the, the holder has uh, knowledge and the skills that are manual, practical and or operational in focus with uh, a variety of options. With regards to the application, the holder shall be able to apply in activities that are set in a range of familiar, predictable context involve routine issues which are identified and addressed by selecting from and uh, following a number of set uh, rules, guidelines, or procedure. In terms of degree of independence, the Philippine Qualification Framework states that in conditions where there is uh, substantial support, guidance, or supervision, limited judgment or discretion is needed. For in C3, that is level 3, the holder shall have uh, knowledge and skills that are balance of uh, theoretical and or technical and practical. Work involves understanding the work process, contributing to problem solving, and making decisions to determine the process, equipment, and materials to be used. In terms of application, the NC holder 2 or NC2 holder shall be able to apply in activities that are set in context with some familiar or unpredictable aspects. Involve routine and non-routine issues which are identified and addressed by interpreting and applying um, established guidelines or procedure with some variations. For the degree of uh, independence in the application of knowledge, skills, and values, the holder shall apply at this level that 
may involve individual responsibility or autonomy and or may involve some responsibility for others participation in teams including team or group coordination may be involved for uh, nc4 that is uh, level 4 the holder shall be able or shall possess knowledge and skills that are mainly theoretical and or abstract with significant depth in, in, in one or more areas, contributing to the technical solutions of non-routine or contingency nature, evaluation and analysis of current practices, and uh, the development of uh, new criteria and procedures. With regards to the application of knowledge, skills, and values, the, it is expected that uh, they can apply in activities that are set in a range of uh, context, most of which involve a number of unfamiliar or unpredictable aspects, involve uh, largely non-routine issues which are addressed using guidelines or procedures which uh, require interpretation and or adaptation on matters of uh, the degree on independence hmm, the work involved some leadership and guidance when organizing activities or of uh, self and others for the diploma holder the holder shall have the knowledge and skills that are mainly theoretical and or abstract with significant depth in some areas together with the wide-ranging specialized technical creative and conceptual uh, skills perform work activities demonstrated uh, demonstrating breadth depth and uh, complexity in the planning and initiation at alternative uh, approaches to skills and knowledge applications across a broad range of uh, technical and or management requirements, evaluation, and coordination. In terms of application, um, applied in activities that are supervisory, complex, and non-routine, which uh, uh, require an extensive interpretation and adaptation uh, or innovation. Relative to the degree of independence, in conditions where there is broad guidance and direction where judgment is required in planning and selecting appropriate equipment services and uh, techniques for self and other and others undertake work uh, involving participation in the development of the strategic uh, initiative as well as personal responsibility and autonomy um, in performing complex technical operations or organizing others. Now, for level 6, that is uh, baccalaureate uh, degree, it is expected that a graduate shall be able to demonstrate broad and coherent knowledge and skills in their field of study for professional work and uh, life long learning. On matters relative to application of this knowledge, skills, and values, Application in professional, creative work or research in a specialized field of discipline and or further 
uh, study. And uh, regarding degree of uh, independence, substantial uh, degree of independence and or in uh, teams of uh, related fields with minimal supervision. Level 7, this is post-baccalaureate uh, program. The graduates are expected to demonstrate advanced knowledge and skills in a specialized or multidisciplinary field of study for professional practice, self-directed research, and or lifelong learning. Please take note. Um, graduate students, there is an involvement of uh, research, and we cannot escape this one. Do not afraid to conduct uh, research. Do not afraid to publish because it is already expected uh, from you um, by the Philippine government through our Philippine qualification framework. Now, in application, um, applied in professional creative work for research that requires self-direction and uh, or leadership in a specialized or multidisciplinary professional uh, work or research. And uh, for the degree of independence, High substantial degree of independence that involves exercise of leadership and initiative, individual work or in teams or multidisciplinary okay. And uh, of course, at the top, that is uh, doctoral degree and postdoctoral programs, that's uh, level 8. And uh, the graduates are expected to demonstrate highly advanced systematic knowledge and skills in highly specialized and or complex multidisciplinary uh, field of learning for complex research and or professional practice and uh, or for advanced uh, learning. For the application, applied for professional leadership for innovation, research, and development, management in highly specialized or multidisciplinary field. In terms of the degree of independence, all independence in the individual work or in teams uh, of multidisciplinary and complex setting that uh, demands leadership for research. Uh, and creative for strategic value added and uh, or value added significant level of expertise based on autonomy and uh, accountability. So these are the descriptors and uh, I took this from the Philippine uh, qualification framework uh, with uh, site. Now, what about the significance of this? In the website of the Philippine Qualification Framework, there are several benefits mentioned. Okay, we have for the person, it encourages lifelong learning to allow individuals to start at the level that suits then and uh, then build up their qualifications as their needs and interests develop and change over time. Provide access to certificates and licenses recognized by the government. Of course, in C1, in C2, 3, 4, diploma, um, baccalaureate, uh, post-baccalaureate, uh, doctoral and post-doctoral have uh, actually uh, licenses uh, offered for employers um, it assure that standards and qualifications are consistent to the job requirements or demand 
in other words uh, the qualifications of uh, the graduates or holders of diploma are parallel or equal to the demand of the industry so there will be no mismatch then uh, provides common understanding in standard darts qualifications and levels for the engineering and technology providers it ensures transparency in training tradition conformance to standards and uh, preciseness of accountability for learning outcomes and uh, it also provides a common understanding of policies and guidelines on credit transfers um, particular or portability uh, bridges pathways and uh, rpm recognition of priority uh, learning and uh, for the authorities it provides uh, the standards taxonomy and typology of qualifications as basis for granting approval to provides to providers and the stakeholders harmonize qualifications in engineering and technology of course uh, philippines okay so these are all about the way <coughs> how i understand the philippine qualifications uh, framework thank you very much and uh, that bless you all